Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. This is Rudy Rodriguez Showmont from Come On Now, the podcast. If you haven't done so yet, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like and follow us at Come On Now Podcast at Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and Come On Now Pod on X. And definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring that bell. Please share our videos, post a comment, give it a like or a dislike. I don't care. If you don't like what I have to say, dislike it, comment on it. I will go back and forth with you. It's all good. But let's jump in to what I have to talk about today. Did you see the New York Liberty Chicago Sky game yesterday? If you did, you know exactly what I'm about to talk about. And what is that specifically? The complete manipulation of this flippant, bogus double-double streak. It should have ended two days ago in, in that, against Atlanta. And again, it should have ended last night against the New York Liberty. Angel Reese has had a great year. I will preface that again. She's had a great year. But what's going on right now in the WNBA is a freaking embarrassment. It's a joke. It's a joke beyond jokes. If you want to make it a 100-game streak, then just put it in the books. It's a 100-game streak. But Angel Reese going into the fourth quarter had five rebounds. She had eight points and five rebounds. She was put in the game with about two minutes to go in the third And I believe she got a bucket to give her her eighth point, seven eight points. In the fourth quarter, she needs five rebounds. That's a lot of rebounds in a five, in a ten minutes period. Well, unless you shoot the ball to yourself, you catch your own block shot, and you have no problem seeing a one point trailing by one point going into the fourth quarter turn into a fifteen point loss. Teresa Witherspoon showed me something that was really, really disappointing. Camila Cardoso was in the game. She pulls her out and has her sit for damn near the duration of the fourth quarter. As the in, uh, Indiana, as the Chicago Sky proceed to get blown off the floor. But as long as Angel Reese gets her 10 rebounds, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. This streak for the Chicago Sky is more important than winning. They proved it against Atlanta, and they proved it again last night. Angel Reese was 5 for 17 from the field. 16 of her 17 shots were inside of 3 feet from the basket. She took a 21-footer that she missed. She had. From my count, at least six shots of hers blocked. Why does that happen? Because I keep telling you she has no post game. I keep telling you this, and you don't want to listen. She brings the ball to her hip, and she doesn't, and it gets blocked. She gets blocked by players that are shorter than her because she brings the ball down to her waist, and she throws these shot put looking shots, and they get blocked. She finished with five offensive boards and five defensive boards. Of those five offensive boards, two of them came on her own shot being blocked right back into her hands. I'm sorry, folks. That's not a rebound. That is not a rebound. They need to change this. The WNBA stats or stat book is being completely manipulated by having shots blocked right back into your hand because shots don't get blocked like this in the NBA. When they get blocked, they get swatted into the stands. When her shots get blocked, they get tipped or or, or hit, and they land right back in her hands, and she's getting a rebound. And she had two of those. And she had one of those in the fourth quarter, 
which gave her her sixth rebound. And then she had a rebound off of an air ball that, that landed right in her hands. And then she had a rebound off of her own missed shot into the rim. Three of those five offensive boards were off of her own shots. Oh, you'll tell me, oh, well, she doesn't position herself. Sorry, no. When the ball is blocked right back to you, you didn't position yourself. You got, a block, you got your shot blocked. She was 5 of 17. Why was she even in the game? Like, you can sit someone down when they don't play well. You can sit someone on the bench when they're playing like trash. And then she gets the 10th rebound with about, I think it was off of her own missed shot, actually. I think it was off of her own missed shot. That was the 10th rebound. Or maybe it was a miss off someone else. I'm going to check real quick. Because I, I know she had the, the, the block shot, gave her number six, and then she had a rebound off of her own missed shot later. I think it was either eight or nine, maybe a ninth. The ninth may have been her, her um, off of her own missed shot. But what we're doing here to these, this record, this record's a joke now. I I, I can't even take it serious. It's it, ten, a ten and ten double double. That's what we had a ten and ten double double. I can't even take this stupid record seriously anymore. It's a joke. It's embarrassing. They were down one going into the fourth. They were up thirteen in the second quarter. Thirteen. By halftime, there was a two point game. The Liberty had already tied it, and then they went up, and Chicago went up two at the half. End of the third quarter. Liberty's up by one. End of the game, it's a 15-point game. But, hey, she got her double-double because that's what's important. Here we go. This is where it starts. Angel Reese gets her shot blocked by Nayara Sabali. She catches her own rebound, and then she misses another shot. Angel Reese, doo, 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 doo. I'm going on the timeline. I watched the game. I saw it happen live. Sabrina Ionescu misses a floater that Angel Reese grabs for a rebound. There was a rebound that she grabbed off of a miss by Brianna Stewart. Brianna Stewart misses a point blank layup, and obviously the ball landed right in Angel Reese's hands. Let's see here. Angel Reese offensive rebound off of a miss Lindsay Allen layup. Angel Reese misses a two point shot. Angel Reese grabs her own. Rebound, Angel Reese misses another two-point shot. This is back-to-back-to-back, okay? So she missed two layups and grabbed an offensive rebound, grabbed two offensive rebounds in that possession. One up was off someone else's miss. One was on her miss. That was with 3.16 to go. That was her ninth rebound. Her tenth rebound was an offensive rebound off of an Izzy Harrison miss, and then she immediately turned the ball over. Like, literally turn the ball over as soon as the rebound happened. So that's a rebound. I, I mean, <laughs> well, <laughs> and then she committed a foul when she turned it over. I, I, you can't make this shit up. And immediately thereafter, she's taken out of the game that they are trailing 84-72 to 72 in. And Camila Cardoso is put back in. What's more important, winning or this record? It's clearly not winning. It's clearly not winning. Winning is irrelevant. They don't care about winning. They care about this record. They're going to push this record as long as they can possibly push it. They do not care. They proved it against Atlanta. They proved it again last night. They don't care about this record. In the fourth quarter, Angel Reese had two points. One, two. Do, 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 do. Two, three, four. She had she was one for four with a turnover, and they lost by fifteen. They got outscored by fourteen points in the fourth quarter. You cannot tell me that they care about winning, and you know what it showed? It showed it showed against Atlanta. That winning doesn't matter. Winning is not the most important thing. It's this record. The record's the most important thing. Because someone who cares about winning isn't begging for the ball with a seven-point game with six sec- eight seconds to go like she did versus Atlanta. That's someone who doesn't care about winning. Because had they lost, I, I 
The first, I mean, it's just they don't. He sure doesn't care. They don't care about winning. It's not about winning. This is about a record now. This is about a record. These this record is now just being fluffed into the fucking sky. It is what it is. You sat Camila Cardoso for ten minutes, and you had her sitting on the bench. And in that time, that team got outscored by fifteen points. Actually, let's see when she sat. When when did she actually sit? Cardoso went to the bench. I'm trying to see when Cardoso went to the bench. I know she was sitting the entirety of the fourth quarter until the two minute mark when they pulled her out. When, they, but I, I'm I'm fairly certain that she was sitting. She got pulled out at the end of the third. Actually, let me. I can't verify. This. The ESPN stat box sucks. Mm. Yeah, she's already out because Izzy Harrison's in the game in the fourth quarter. Uh. Camilla Cardoso comes out of the game. It is 61-55 New York with 2.06 to go. It's 62-61, end of the end of the third after a, a Lindsay Allen layup, a Lindsay Allen three, and a Lindsay Allen and one. No, that wasn't a three. It was a two-point shot and an and one. So in, Lindsay Allen hit five points. Angel Reese hit a layup to make it 62-62. Sabrina, that, that was her, her eighth point of the game. Um, Ionescu hits a free throw. They're up 63-62 going into the fourth quarter. So Cardoso sat for 10 minutes, and they got blown out of the building. They came back initially, made a little run, and then they got blown out of the building with Camila Cardoso sitting on the bench. I don't know that Camila Cardoso makes a difference. I really don't. I, I, I don't. But Cardoso was four or five with seven rebounds, eight points. She took five shots. So while she takes five shots, goes four or five, Angel Reese goes five of 17. Five of 17 in 30 minutes. Camila Cardoso played 20 minutes. Izzy Harrison had a good game. She had 12 points, 12 rebounds on 28 in 28 minutes. But this is laughable. This is laughable. They don't care about winning. They don't care at all. This shit is embarrassing. This record is a joke now. It cannot be taken seriously, and it's still being pushed. And the comedy of all of it was they're in New York. And they claimed a sellout crowd. I, I don't know that it was a sellout crowd. Maybe it, it was pretty crowded. I'm, I'm, it was pretty crowded. Maybe it was that way because people want to see this record, see if this record end, lives or dies. If I'm a team playing them, I want to stop this record because the way they're giving it away, it's almost, it's a joke. It, it, it's really a joke. It's really, really a joke. So, yeah, I, I uh, they play them again tomorrow. They play them again tomorrow back in Chicago. I wonder what it'll look like tomorrow. But this record is a farce. And I would say that about anyone who's giving away points. I remember when Ricky Davis tried to shoot a layup off of, in the NBA, tried to shoot a layup off the backboard of the other team and, and catch his own rebound. And they would not give him the stat. I think he was going for a triple-double. They wouldn't give him the stat. Because it was a farce. This, this, it's all, it's all made up bullshit. It's contrived. It's garbage. The, the, we've lost what we value in sports. Shit being earned. This isn't even earned anymore. This is a joke. This is a joke. She had five rebounds going into the fourth quarter. I don't believe that you should count rebounds off your own block shot when it lands right back in your hands as a rebound. I don't. It's not a rebound to me. But they call it, and she gets credit for this bullcrap every freaking game. Don't believe me? Look it up. She's had almost 50 layups blocked. She's six foot three. She's six three. You cannot sit here and tell me that someone who's six foot three should have 50 layups blocked. She's taken about 200 layups this season. 25% of her layup attempts are blocked. Why does that happen? Because she brings the ball to her hip and she has no offensive skills. 
keep saying it. Her motor's great. She plays real freaking hard. She rebounds like crazy. But her, mo- her, her offensive game is awful. It's awful. And someone's going to come back and say, oh, well, she's being double-teamed. No, she's not. I'm watching the game. She stand- when she stands on the perimeter, there's no one within 10 feet of her. There's nobody within 10 feet of her. They will dare her to shoot. Shoot the jump shot. They will dare her to shoot it. They're not guarding her. They don't guard her until she gets into the paint. And there's no double teams coming down on her. Stop it. Stop it. There's no double teams. No one's dropping down the double team from the guard position. Are they all going after the ball on rebounds? Yeah. If you want to call that a double, that's not a double team. That's not a double team. They're going for a loose ball. But when she's backing in, when she's in the paint, there's no double team. Believe what you like. Teresa Witherspoon disappointed me yesterday with that crap. If you cared about winning, she needs to stay in the game to the final two minutes. Because the argument has been made. Oh, I've seen this. You play to the whistle. The whistle? Yeah, in theory, you do. When the game, when you're up seven with seven seconds left and they're not fouling you and you're dribbling the ball out, you don't beg for the ball to take a shot. That's not playing to the whistle. That's just fucking unsportsmanlike as shit and breaking every unwritten rule of any any sport. You don't steal bases when you're up 14 to one in the ninth inning in baseball. You don't throw for a Hail Mary when you're up 35 with 10 seconds to go in football. And when the dribble ball is being dribbled out with seven seconds to go, you don't try and go score when you're up seven. When the other team is conceded, the game is over. You don't do it. These are unwritten rules in sports. And I know the generation now will say, oh, oh, screw that shit. No. These are the unwritten rules of sports. And if you don't know them, it's because you don't play sports. Or you're a generation fucking Z who doesn't believe in anything. Who doesn't have any values in anything. But that's what's going on now. Gen Z does not value shit. They don't believe in nothing. They don't believe in working jobs. They don't believe in showing up on time. They don't believe they want to work from home the second they get out of school, get out of college. This is just another example. The crowd is then clapping for this bullshit. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm mortified, mystified, saying, how can the crowd from New York be clapping for this garbage? You watched it happen. It was fluff. It was shit. And then you pull her out of the game. Why? I thought you played to the whistle. Because you sure as shit played to the whistle on, on Wednesday, but you didn't play to the whistle on Thursday? She should have stayed in the damn game the last two minutes and played to the whistle. Oh, but it only matters when you're trying to get that record right. Yeah, I got you. Yes, this record is garbage. It's over. I'm sick of it. It's fraud. I said it before. It's a fraud record now. It the every game, every game after the last one, it's fraud. She was fluffed up on two, and the record probably should never even happened. I'm I'm wondering if this is a WNBA script to keep a, keep interest in this shit. At this point, is this a script for the WNBA to ensure that she gets this bullshit? It makes no sense. It makes it's this is trash. Very disappointed. Once again, what's new? I want to see shit earned, and this is another example of complete basura. That's all I got. Leave a comment in the description, man. Let me know what you think. I'm sure you. I'm sure some of y'all will. The last Angel Reese post we did, I mean, the people that hate, that love Angel Reese told me that I'm a racist white guy. Whatever the fuck. Whatever. I don't care. Call me what you want. We already know what it is. These are my kids. This is my frat. Damn sure not racist. I like I like purity in sport, man. That's what it is. And if you don't like purity in sport, then we don't vibe. That's it. Come on now.